once we're done with the data flow development, it's good to have the exception handling capabilities as well. Hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power App. In this video, we will see how and the possible ways for the exceptions that can arise inside your data flow as a part of a power query. So in this video, I'm focusing more on the null values. So for an example, let me just show you one of the scenario and how we will resolve that. Here I'm on my data flow screen. Let me show what query I'm getting. This is my SharePoint site from where I'm passing a query to fetch the data from one of my SharePoint list. Okay, so let it open here. You can see outlet. I'm getting some columns and I have created a duplicate column of my price. One is type of whole number and that is type of a text. Let's say in some of the scenario, I need to add one more column, which would be a combination of two columns. Okay, that requirement can come at any cost at any time. Okay, so for how do we do that? We go to the add column custom column and we give it a name as custom column one or maybe the merge column let's say merge column merge column and then we set the data type as text and we need this value of this column to be driven from any other column let's say from the title and put an end and then the price and then select it insert it and then okay now you can notice it has created a column and it is just a combination of values from two other columns the price of copy because it is of type text and this title this is also of type text only let's say you can see like that so you can use it very well but the problem arises when you are using this merge column in any sort of a primary or maybe any sort of a decision making structure. In that case, what issue you will find? Let me come to my SharePoint and uh, remove something. Let's say I want to remove the price of that. Say this. Okay. And let me do that for this too. Let me do this for this as well. I should have. Okay. Now coming back, um, I need to just refresh it. The good thing about this data flow is that it save you everything. It save save your steps. Now coming back, and then let me see what happened. How the output would be start reflecting. Let it load. So here you can notice as I'm pass giving the price as null, I'm getting merge column values as null. If I'm using this merge column as a primary key column or a decision making column, then these two rows are treated as a single row or maybe it would definitely make a problem to do for you somewhere. Okay. So how we can handle this null issues. So let me show you how we can do that we need to just go to this step only and here you can notice we have used the end operator and operator is like something not null with end operator at end operator with one null value it will return give you the null value it's like the zero one end operation because of that only we are getting this null output now how we need to do we need to use and only and then we will use the if condition let's say if condition close this and we are right if this column equals to null then 
we need to pass blank else the same column only we'll see coming back and then paste it here now put the okay now we can get the values from this column okay so the thing is how we have get rid of that earlier we were using the and operator and now we used if condition that if any column is getting null please store blank as a string okay don't consider null as just a com complete null because if we later try with the and operator it would definitely give you the null result only okay so that sort of thing we can implement in order to handle the null values inside the data flows because right now it is just for a for a small column but if that column would be used for a for, for at a good place okay at a time this small issue would make a big problem for you okay so thank you for watching this video everyone so have a nice day bye bye